HQ. Let's keep it Zen, Joe. Hi. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's good nice. morning. Good evening, depending where you are, who you Live are. Live from Liverpool. Yeah, where uh, are you? Yes. Here's one for you, just quickly. Liverpool. Good afternoon, good evening, good and good night. What movie is that from? Oh. Truman Show. Well done. Yeah, nice. nice. Quick, quick for you, quick, Yeah, it was quick for you, that. <laughs> I'm quick now. <laughs> I'm quick. Good, you I'm, good, mate. I'm quick. Been now, again, hands. Yeah. I've been ill, but I think despite the, having washing your hands, the dead cells have gone, and now the good ones are back. Nice. How are you your look, cells? You're good. You're thank good. you. You do. You look good. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Come on. Thank Compliment. you. Tom, you look yeah. pretty good. You do look good. Yeah. You thanks. Fresh. Josh, actually, Josh is yeah. Josh is repping a new look. Sporting the tash. Uh, hang look, on. It looks great. You I know. even have a little uh, little thing here just to keep it keep it going. Combed. You just leave it in there like that. Matt, Josh, sorry, you're just flashing in it, Matt. So you on? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I got you that, didn't I? Yeah, you bought your same one as well, Stocking filler, wasn't it? Cheeky cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Liverpool at the moment recording some songs for our um, album. That's, yeah, I was going to say, like, greatest album ever. <laughs> no, I, it's yeah, well looking been. that way for me. It sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Especially today. That was a good fun one. It's got it like um, I was saying before, it's got like a catwalk vibe to me at the moment. I'll take that. A few of the tunes. You I mean? like the yeah. reference. Well, as a fashion fashionista and model myself, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Just before we uh, started, we were talking about roast dinners. Yeah, we was, and we said we should save it for the chat because I had a roast at the weekend with uh, jo- Joe's dad. Ian made a roast, and then we got onto the point of Charlie saying, "We I don't know if we have discussed this before, but what's everyone's favourite side on a roast?" Taking away roast potatoes because everyone's going to pick roast potatoes, aren't they? So, so you can't pick a roast potato you know. because it's just boring. Everyone's going to say. Okay, roast. should we go around the, the circle? Yeah. Ooh. Today I'm going to say cauliflower cheese, and it has to be like three cheese, like well made. It has to nice. be more cheese than cauliflower. Yeah, I mean a mixture of three cheeses. Yeah. Nice. Can you taste the cauliflower? Trump flower. <laughs> <laughs> Marginally. It's, it's just, yeah, so it's just, just it's like a creamy cheese, cheese sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Undoubtedly. I can't get on board with that because I hate the way the idea of the cheesy sauce mixing with gravy. See, cheese and gravy is a vibe, cheese you know. Cheese and gravy. Nah, just, it, what's it? Poutine. Uh, poutine. Poutine, poutine. The Canadian dish. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like it's like cheese curds. That's yeah, it's squeaky. Cool. Yeah. But it's not. It's not liquid cheese. I'm not Sa- li- side notes: the cauliflower cheese, leek and cheese is really good. Yeah, mm. Puss in Boots special. Leek. Cream leeks. Back in the day, I yeah, like cream man. leek side. Leeks are ace. Aren't I'm a, yeah. I'm a stuffing man. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Oh, bit of stuffing. Buzz off stuffing. Yeah, you do. With the sausage okay. meat in there and that full work. Oh, yeah, proper stuffing. I like a stuffing. A, a lavish stuffing. stuffing. Stuffing ball or just stuffing? Just stuffing. Just I stuffing. prefer I, just the stuffing. I think the ball yeah. is... The balls a are a bit puss in boots, which I have nothing against. I, you're listening I, I, I used to make them. Do you know what it... Literally just roll them in a ball. I don't like them. Yeah. Do you know what it is for me? <laughs> it, it's, sometimes it's a cutting It's a cutting hazard, the ball. I, I don't mind yeah, the ball. It could, eat, it could it, skid off your plate. It's a slipper, isn't it? Yeah. Although... Gone. The ball keeps you more in check with... Push the quantity because yeah. if you've just got a big dish of stuffing you're going to be going for four do you know what sound, yeah. quite balls, RSPB aren't they the, uh, balls aren't balls, <laughs> balls aren't you know good I mean? for um, yeah. real estate fat balls <laughs> balls aren't good for real estate on the plate though are they because they they're not they're not very um, do you I think they are meatball monopoly no they're not if you've got like a flat bit of stuffing that can it can like there's more fit with a ball it's like bigger in the middle isn't it it's not Josh, what's your favourite side, then? <laughs> Would you call it a side? Yeah. yeah. Um, what's your favourite side? I don't know, now, now that all these things are roast. flying around, it's like watching a game of fucking meat tennis. I feel like... What the fuck's meat tennis? <laughs> I don't know. Could make it <laughs> a thing. Meat tennis. No, because everyone's throwing all these yeah, different, different ideas across the, the metaphorical table. What's but the first one that springs to your mind that you favourite? Those, like, greens that you get. Like from like, Hawksmoor. Like, like buttered greens. Ah, yeah. Oh, like seasonal yeah. Spinach. Yeah. Gee whiz. Oh, yeah. L- love a bit of because spinach. It, you know, you what know what because like if, if, if you think about like, if you think of the dish scientifically, as I often do, mm. but that's a, that's a different thing, obviously. Um, like, I feel like the buttered greens, they're very soft in both texture and flavour. So it's it's like a, almost like a, it balances the pH of everything. You've got the richness of whatever meat you have. Mm. The gravy tends to be very rich and viscous. The greens cut through that almost like as we were just discussing before. If you have a really nice salty piece of toast or a Chinese or something that's quite Salt f- salty and fla- flavoursome, cup of tea cuts right through that. Yeah, really nicely. Yeah. So that's I guess I'll say that about butter, the greens. Butter greens, Charlie. Oh shit! Sorry, I'm going to throw something in the mix. Come on, Yorkshire puds. 
I feel like they're I feel like they're I mean, illegal like, they're along with the, the potato realm. This is a, this is another discussion of entirely side. because they're you're, in only, supposed spots, to, you're only supposed they? to have them with beef. What's that traditionally? Oh yeah, oh, this is another. This well, is a, I I listened to Paul McCartney on um, Jess Jesse Wears Jesse Wears what's it called Table Table Manners, Manners. Yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, that Table Manners. and he it's a quite a thing people actually have it as a pudding. Don't oh they? Really? yeah, yeah, people yeah, have yeah. the Yorkshire pudding as a pudding. And it's still savoury. McCartney does it. Do you know what's mad? If I think about it now, I do that. You save Subconsciously. it. Subconsciously. To last. Because we were talking about real estate before on the plate. My Yorks pudding never goes on the plate because that's it takes up too much. I know it's what you like, mean. Eh. I, depends where I am. I would always have it on a little side plate. Always. Really? Always put it on a the side plate. Not always, plate. but I, I, I do. figured out that, like Joe said, the real estate of the plate is better. You just put shit in it though, don't you? No, nah, because then, then it's hard giant to put one. I always put, even if I'm eating... Depends it, how, that's... Sorry, Josh is right. It depends how big the pudding yeah, is. Yeah, sometimes you know those like good, Aunt Bessie yeah. ones. Tiny like ones. You can get a few of them on they, your plate. Yeah, they, and, you, and you, yeah, that, that's sad. You just and fucking they're, nail they're, them. Again, they're easy to cut. You know, like the giant ones you get, like. But the plate size ones. Like a, a carvery. They're like this big. Do you know what I mean? That needs a size. I'm plate. taking a napkin and that's going in my hand and that's sitting on the napkin on Some the Some of them are quite volcanic, aren't they? <laughs> you know, Charles, what's your side? Like, yeah, come on. All the best ones have kind of gone. You can pick the same one, though. Yeah, you can you can match your double up. Do you know what I do like? And I think it's a Scottish thing. Neeps and tatties. Oh, uh, yeah. You ever had neeps and tatties? No, oh. so what is that? Of course yours is the indie one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you stole my um, Yorkshire pudding. I was going to say Yorkshire pudding. Oh, Pigs and blankets. I mean, that's a Christmas Pigs special, blankets. really. But oh, do you know still. what? Do you know Sprouts. What? Why the f- Sorry, I'm just I like getting a, excited. A firm, humble carrot, you know, as well. Yeah, I was thinking I carrot, carrot and Swede. Loads of pepper and butter. And there's a place in town. Carrot and Swede, the underrated vegetable. Um, what's that place that Tom Carriage has got? It was the um, stock exchange. The carrots there, he does them, they're called Star and East Carrots. Yeah. Ooh. They're fucking unbelievable. That changed my view on carrots. Yeah. So I'll go either. I love, I love a, a carrot. carrot. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Miles, did you pick yours? Yeah, I've, I've just come for... Cream leeks. Cream leeks, yeah. Cre- Cream leeks or sprouts. I, I do like a good I sprout. sprouts last night. Again, I sprout all year seasonal, round. but I, I made some out of season and it was great. I'm not... I'm Miles, right. you know what you being a veggie and all that? Uh, mm. I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm a big fan of the nut roast. Nut roast? I love a nut roast, Charles. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I sometimes prefer it to... I'll eat at a restaurant and be like, I'll nut roast. I Me and Gator, the, 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 um, the sides are always the best bit, aren't they? Yeah. I could have like a tiny bit of meat yeah. and loads of sides. I think that's why yeah. my dad's yesterday was so Although, good. Because my dad's chicken yesterday was, it was good. really good. Back in the day when I did eat meat and I worked at the Puss in Boots again, shout out to them, Char Su. Ooh, was always yeah. a special there. I used to smash the char yeah, suit, you know what I mean? I can't mess with that. Sweet. I can't yeah. mess with that. Sweet, sweet a bit like it. fucking peppery and that. Oh, I'd never... It, that, that, being, that was exclusive to the to that place, I'd say. Yeah. Being veggie now, do you miss roast dinner? No, not really. What, do you, you miss Donna Kebabs, that's the one. Donna Kebab steaks, other steaks, than that. Yeah. A good, like, Hawk, good. I went to Hawksburg again the other week. It's fucking amazing. I shouted him out, but... Every time, innit? It was unbelievable. Do you I have New Year's Eve for a Sunday Chateau roast. Briand. It's amazing, isn't it? But we had the Chateaubriand share Fuck with yeah. the roast. Yeah, Ooh, that's yeah. kind of what we did. Yeah, I yeah. ordered like a few sides of the Yorkshire oh, pudding. <sighs> anyway, how's everyone feeling? Good. Sound. Uh, really good, actually. I think I we should, should be quite zen in it. Well, I'm just yeah. trying to say, like, the you know, as we're, in, vibe, haven't as we're in here, is there anything we could like talk about what, what is or like explain that's, anything that's about the studio well, you know we've been recording live people might want to yeah. hear Miles is sitting next to the desk but he's not so you not can allowed find to touch me most most of the time behind here um, they call me Mr Fade because I fade away quite well Mr Fade you see this yeah bit of fading <laughs> yeah? yeah sorry that was a bit of shit but yeah just we've got a desk there recording there listen to back in here in Kempton Street which is the, the lads Barstreet. who ran Par Street opened their own studio. We're in again with James Skelly. Yeah. And Chris Taylor. And like I said, then we've been doing it live, haven't we? Back to back to the sort of OG. Yeah, kind of us in a room. Us, really. We weirdly never never recorded live before, have we, as a band? No, I think a lot of the spirit of the first album was like that, because we'd rehearsed them up. Yeah. Whereas yeah. then we went away for years on tour, I'd write, and then we'd have to like we'd build them in. in the studio. We didn't really have a proper rehearsal room, did we, to go no. in? No. Like, Whereas we've had this rehearsal room now for a couple of years. We've been going in, rehearsing the songs. I've been writing. Getting them tight. And then we've been coming in, doing it live. And there's a real energy to it, I'd say. And like Joe fun. said, catwalk. It feels, like, it feels like a breath of fresh air recording like that, personally. It's me. It's, it's, just it's a lot more energy, isn't it? It sparked an excitement in... in but certain sessions, songs lend themselves... Like the one we did today definitely lends it to it. Yeah, like it felt a bit easy. More it felt like... 
I think when it feels easy, that's when you're onto something good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that one felt like it's not that. lazy. No, easy. Yeah. Do you know what there's I mean? Just, I think there's something there's something cool about it and something exciting about um, doing it live. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's not like I had a little Bowie vibe today, didn't it? The tune. Yeah, it's mad it's how little. quickly, obviously, because like if you it, you know if you get it most of it down in say six or seven takes. And then you're like, oh, fucking hell, that, that's the majority of the track yeah, done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas I was thinking, so I was talking to Dom before about it. I was like, some, you know, sometimes we'd spend days on synths or, yeah, or days on the, the drums, guitars, days like, on the like, drums. Like, trying to piece the parts yeah. together like a puzzle. So, so nice to just capture it in. It's like, this is the song, it goes like this, bang. It took a bit of a turn, so. though, today. With Jay. Changed like one little symphony and it went down a, a different, yeah, yeah. opened another door from it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? You anticipate for the better. Originally, it was meant to be like a bass heavy track, wasn't it? Like where the bass was doubled up with an mm-hmm. emu bass, keyboard. Yeah, Charlie's bass part, part was being doubled up by Miles. But it took Didn't a different direction, like you say, Joe. Didn't it was it? good. And that's, More that's sparse, the, cooler sounding synths. We'll play it for you the now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sound. It's good, isn't it? I, mean, I like it. They've, they've, they've done it well. Nailed they've the vibe. Well. Yeah, this, is, this is such yeah. a nice room to be in, to work in. I mm. think they pretty much tried to copy the, the old studio, didn't they? It's, got, it's, it's just it's so serene. Yeah, I feel chilled. I could, I could fucking nap right yeah. now with ease. I love napping in the studio. Sometimes, sometimes when the music's going on and off loud, it it re- weirdly relaxes me. You know, like when you're at a disco yeah. on your mum's knee. Yeah, you're you can, a little kid. You can hear all the conversations. Sort of yeah. Yeah. Everyone's shouting over the music, can't they? Trying yeah. to talk and to you're each other. You're just like other. going to sleep. It's weirdly comforting. Get us another fucking pint. <laughs> you know what isn't comforting? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Hypothetical what would you do? Hypothetical Right, so you have I only have one because that's fine. I just I just found it then. <laughs> would you rather have <laughs> one million dollars or everything you buy is the price of what it was in the nineteen seventies? The 70s. Ooh. So, for example, you buy a car, now it would be 40 grand, pulling numbers out of thin air, or it would be like three and a half grand back in the 70s. Like, you could just buy houses. Well, yeah. I was thinking about the gear, like the, the sofas and stuff. You could, get, you know, like oh, the gear. Everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it, 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 it's relative to worth, so it's, yeah, like it would be the price of it, of, of how it was but it hasn't inflated over yeah, the yeah. years. You, you know what I mean, yeah. So, yeah so it'd be, I'd go with that then, no inflation. Who the hell's this now? No my inflation. Mom, my mum and dad, when they bought their... Um, their like first house, it was like I mean, it's still cheap. expensive, but it's yeah, not cheaper like, than what it's what like, mean, now. like. Like sixty grand yeah. for like mm. an house, it's like mad, mad crazy. Oh, sixty grand for a house. I like, say it's, it's still expensive. It's not, yeah, I mean, but this is the thing, though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just like a million quid. You can just do the fuck you want, or you have to just well, yeah, no, you can't. If you, invest, go if you invested wisely, go fast. Though, How would you, you wait, be buying? Wait a minute, buying, like, Nice. Like I don't know. How the fuck would shillings <laughs> work now? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Two There's bob, three bob, that ain't happening, is it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> How the fuck does shilling work? Yeah. Wait, Sh- when shillings did shillings come in? The sh- oh, shillings, left. shillings left. Shillings um, left. 70s or 80s. 80s. It was the 80s. It was still around the 70s. Civilization, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Don't There's three a called the full shilling in Stockport, isn't there? Okay, no, you wouldn't know. <laughs> You're the one who's not the full shilling. <laughs> so in answer to your question, Miles, I would choose the... <laughs> I, I would reject the million dollars and just have everything as it was. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, I'm still growing. Yeah, yeah, I go with the seventies. Right, so a shilling Fucking is zero point zero zero five five pound sterling. Sweet. Oh no, sorry, that's one Kenyan what shilling. <laughs> what can you say? Of shillings? <laughs> you just, you I just, I just, I just typed shilling in. It said so. Oh yeah, and it said that's one Kenyan shilling. Not sorry, <laughs> like that. Speaking of Kenya, have you seen that guy? Who's um, running yeah. the South Hard of Africa? Geezer. Yeah, have you? Have you? Have you, have you, have you we literally, like the first couple of podcasts, Did I was, we? I kept going on about him. Yeah. Did you? I was listening to you. Know, you read it. Is he almost? Yeah, he almost done to it. Though. He's 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 cutting round the Sahara now, isn't he? Yeah, he's like yeah. the top. Fucking Alpha. How long has it taken? I know he had some visa issues. Months, didn't some he? some of the stuff like he's like pissing blood and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. So me and Emily have been watching it because we've been ill the past few days. We just put it on on like day one, and we're on like day hundred and fifty now. Yeah. He's just smashing it. It's mad. Yeah, but he's still going, isn't he? Running he's, every day. So he's, 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 it's like 15 or 16,000 kilometres. He does 60k a day. Fucking hell. But then he, he gets runs like 60k, 60K a, day. a day. Yeah. You remind me of Easy. No, like, no, no. Jack Hampton. Yeah. No, he reminds us Jack Hampton yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, weird, isn't it? Yeah. But a fucking. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, six K day, no rest day. Is he goes like a month without a team day off, but then like he gets like robbed. They get robbed or like he gets kidnapped or he like pisses his blood or like, you, like, like, like he loses his visas or something like that. So they have to have two weeks off. Like I've, I'm only so far in, oh, but you know. it's mad. yeah, good though. It's heavy. Why do you um, think I'm fucking trying to go for a run later? Ron is inspired, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if he can do that, you're gonna run to. Just, just, just on, just on. You know what I mean? <laughs> just gonna run in the I've same spot. Run to Windsor. No. Um, is it Windsor? The Where value of a shilling is twelve pence. I forget. It's a twenty shillings in a pound. It says here. So just so you know, quite tiny, Tim, isn't it? What shilling? Yep. Yeah. Happy New Year for all. Whatever he says. Oh, bless him. So I thought yeah. that. Yeah. What were you saying on the That's my favourite Christmas film, The Christmas Carol. Nice. We Love should it. do um, a version of Hot Ones, shouldn't we? Oh, yeah, because we, we, talk- we were just talking about. When they um, eat the, the chicken. Yeah, yeah Barry, I've seen that. Barry, what's his face? Barry Salt- Ke- Keegan. He, he's just been on it, and we were just talking about. Was it, could he handle the spice? We would just skip through it, didn't we? Mm. Uh, but I just thought it'd be, it'd be funny if we did a version of it. You can buy the kit. Yeah. The Hot Ones kit. And we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we do it. We could do it. I'd give it a go. I'd get involved. Me and Miles. What's this? Miles would win probably. You don't win, do you? It's just well, how. No, no, you, you just, you just, see, you just yeah. have a laugh with but it. But you, you can you can see the reaction. Yeah, you're sweating. Things, you know what I mean? Let's do it. Hot ones. Hot ones. Hot ones. Oh, everyone's doing that. Yeah, I, I don't mind eating some hot sauce. But to be fair, last time I did that, I did collapse. But yeah, we'd have true. like water and it'd be in like a controlled environment, and you were you were like fucking bladded. Do you know and, what I mean? and I mean, I don't think they they, they sell you that extreme one. That, you Th- that was the extract, on, wasn't it? Only on a cocktail called knocking foot. It was just like. Death, wasn't it? It was so funny. How cocky had a skull was. on it. It was so funny. How cocky was it? He swiped that whole thing. I was only. T- I, I was. I was uh, twenty years of age. Do you know what I mean? You're twenty there. Twenty, yeah. Mad that, Eight yeah. years ago. Nine years ago. That's crazy. There's so tour diaries for people who haven't seen in our YouTube channel. If you just yeah. go back right to the beginning of the video, is some watch me be, be gravely ill as usual. Yeah, yeah it was good. Good time. Good tour diaries. Last time you were ill, you've not been ill for a bit. I think I'm the most ill now. You are definitely the most ill. What's happening? What's happened? The most doctor. But what's happened? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean... You started I'd... washing your hands, hadn't you? That's why. <laughs> no, there's something in it being like a... Is it your dad that said if you eat dirt, then you're better? <laughs> Have I made that up? Someone's no, dad well, no, said that. Don't they say like... No, 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 when you're like a kid yeah, and stuff, no, you're not yeah, meant yeah. to like... No, I was yeah, never... Yeah, yeah. You're meant, like, the, meant to let the kids... Just, yeah. I never had... Because it kind of gets your... What is it? Your antibodies? Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Your immune system, uh, innit? Your immune system. I never had a day off in school up until like year 10 when I started smoking weed. Like I was like... I got 100% attendance. Yeah, I was like... And I was like... Why am I be just going to school, innit? You know what I mean? It's not hard. <laughs> no, it's man. not hard. Yeah. Speaking of which, anybody got uh, one of them? I feel the caffeine and what? toast has really hit me. Well, you, know? you know, speaking of school, I just want to I just want to throw this in there because I mean I got in trouble for mentioning someone's name before this person, um, and but it's actually it's pretty funny because so basically, and a good friend of mine, and. Ex colleague of yours, I believe, Phil Whitehead. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and who's also, fun fact, singer in my OG first band, band yeah. The Moors. Yeah, because you know I, I shouted out my mate uh, George Wood all the other day about the keeper being at people's weddings and stuff. Yeah, and Whitehead was like, I can't believe you've mentioned him before you've mentioned me on the podcast. Really? So, so he was like, so he said here. I expect me being flipped over your back in that police combat move session we had being discussed very soon. Hmm. Uh-huh. So what? I just thought I'd I would I would discuss that Wyatt and I used to uh, study police combat videos and then try <laughs> and try and, you say try and recreate them in the garden. Nice. That, th- do you know what the 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 physical element of that surprises me with you? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, maybe I was. But then you did have a gym phase. Uh, it was a day. <laughs> I can wait, I can imagine you being quite agile as a kid, though. <laughs> as a kid, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, now you're rigid I mean? and frail. No, like no, no more, I was. When I was. you're like young and everyone's, everyone has more energy I won, when they're a kid. I won I can, tennis competitions. This is what I mean. I, I played imagine, squash. I can imagine, yeah, when was what like, in the? Like that. that was in the. That was, the, <laughs> that was in, would have been 1915, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So far away. Um, Seeming like an OG bathing suit guy. <laughs> Or like you know those old school no. bodybuilders where they're in like a stripy yeah, thing. Yeah. Have you ever got on the uh, the one of like Houdini when he's about to be chained up and stuff and he's in like an old school and he, he looks ripped to fuck. Like yeah. old school ripped. Let me let me I've, show you. I've, honestly, I've seen that. Yeah. Anyone got any bits that they want to fucking any sections or anything like that? I feel like there was uh, an it's I feel not like hard is it recently, but now I've forgotten one. Here we go. No, no, no. Mike comes to you. Use the pressure. Through them speakers, I don't know. Yeah, Go mixed. On, 
I don't <laughs> thought we could go on. I was trying to think then, and you put it's me under the pressure. Yet. Let me think. What have we done recently? It might pressure. come to me. When we knew the city. The city. We did the taxi guy last we week. Did didn't the taxi we? guy last week, yeah. Uh, what else has been going on? I don't think I've got anything, unfortunately. Take accent. There, there will, but there is something. Let me think, let me think. So, it's not hard. Yeah. Is today. What? what Just before. Today? Josh was like, I'll hit soup. You were like, yeah, I'll have a soup. I was like, I'll hit hoop. <laughs> you'll, you'll I'll, hit hoop. Hit hoop. I'll hit hoop. <laughs> Play basketball. Basketball, no, yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah. Nothing I'll, but I'll, net. I'll get, a, I'll get a soup. So I went down there. I was like, you've not got any soup left, mate, have you? And he went, I've got two and a half left. I came back up and went, Josh, sorry, they've only got two and a half. And Josh went, I only wanted half. It's not hard, it's is not it? Not hard, it's not hard, is it? It's, not, it's good, that. You're welcome, Joe. That is good. That, for that. The thing is, thing he actually, hard. he's actually really hungry and just was like, it's better than now, isn't it? No, no. I only want half. No, when he brought it on me, he was like, oh, there's only, there's only half. I was like, I only want half. Boss. It's not half, is it? It's not half. Is it? You know, if it you, was, did, you, know, if you divided nice, two and a half by three, what would that be? What? If you mixed it into one pot and divided it into three, what would that be? <laughs> Christ. You'd have a smaller portions and it'd be third. Would that be like three quarters each? No. No, because that wouldn't make sense, would it? Because then that'd be, you'd mix in a qu- one quarter. Yeah. So that'd be, that wouldn't be a half, it'd be a quarter. And so I'm having a fucking ones. weed relapse Fuck again. me, yeah. This is, this is, we should talk more about I've got to admit it's not hard, is it? Oh, go on. Please. <laughs> it's, it involves me and you. Okay. Last week. All right. So he was getting a coffee and eating more at Bespoke, which is like on the corner, opposite the station. Oh, uh, yeah. And we was oh, yeah. chatting to the kid who works there, and then we heard this like... That was Josh. Oh. So I'm thinking, F-. Josh is like, what the fucking hell's that? And we got this fucking enormous waft of like... Is clutch. Bitumen, clutch, yeah, yeah. bitumen clutch. Anyway, there's an old boy in a car who's coming around the corner. He's, he's got his foot to the floor. Clutch has just it. He's clutch has just it. He's like 90 odd, isn't he? We leave him to it, don't we? We just let him go down the road. Same as you then. <laughs> yeah, we work together. So he gets halfway down Tatton Road, and I said to Josh, I'm going to have to go and help him here. We're going to have so to do I, something. I saw the coffees out, and Chaz went, ran off, ran off. Ran off, Dropped stopped him, put his handbrake on. I said, You're right, mate. He's like, He must be like mid 90s, he's not he? Yeah, yeah. A bit younger than me. Double earring aid. And uh, I was like, Where do you live, pal? He said, um, I'm just in the flats down the, the bottom end on the right. I said, do you want to push? He said, yeah, please. And then from out of nowhere, this Deliveroo driver stopped what he was doing. Just appeared out of nowhere. Down, came over and helped me. Oh, just give you a helping hand. Both helping I thought out. that was really nice, that. It's not hard, is it? No, you know, in a, it? the world that we live in today, I thought. And, he went, and then he went in and was like, picking the coffees up. <laughs> I was in charge him. So he uh, rifled through his wallet when he... <laughs> <laughs> <For sake. laughs> that's oh, a joke, no, that's by good. the way. Obviously, <laughs> but, <laughs> do you imagine? Yeah, but oh, that's, um, uh, that's nice. You no, it kind of re- restores your faith in humanity, doesn't it? Things it does. Like that. Yeah, nice that's my. Uh, and and it's nice that you you helped him as well. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm sure that was a not not hard, is it for him? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure when he does his when he does his podcast, he'll probably mention it. <laughs> Anyone broke down in a car and had someone help them? I have. Yeah, I, oh, I, I've, done it. I've spoke about. I think you spoke about your taxi I, um, one, yeah. I had, so I've got um, I've got a little like classic car. Oh fuck! Oh my <laughs> god! I've got a little fuck. classic car. Yeah, if I get it on Sunday, and um, yeah, I went driving it and it broke down like it always fucking does. It was before I had like AA and stuff like that. I'm saying like it was ages ago. It was before like, you, it was like what, last, what? Before it was like the last AA? Year. No, before I. Like, oh right, yeah. I yeah. didn't think I had never needed AA before. It's one thing you know. It keeps slipping your mind, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Do you like, not have AA? Well, I do now. No, but did you not have it before no, then? Not didn't. even on your car you have? No. Why? I've got that. Didn't know you had a drinking problem. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> know. Um, no, yeah, you just... All right. Just never... Shit that. Sorry. <laughs> well, I've got my, my car now. My <laughs> car now, touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> my car now is quite reliable, isn't it? So it's all right. So, but uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. I didn't um, I didn't have it. So, and I was driving. I was I was in like the arse end of nowhere, like old Leeds around that way. Mm-hmm. Driving, happy as Larry, and country road breaks down, doesn't it? In a temporary lights, traffic, obviously people behind me like that. Oh, uh, fucking beep it. Obviously there's nowhere I can pull over. Oh. They're obviously all fuming. The guy in front of me in this like van goes, puts his uh, handbrake on, gets out and he's like, what's up mate, have you run out of petrol? I was like, nah, I don't know what's, I didn't actually, I was like, I don't have a clue what's wrong with it. It's just just it. I was like, it's just not working. I was like, it's, it's not definitely not petrol, I just put it in. Didn't charge it. <laughs> and he was like, oh, well, he was like, I've got a rope here. 
He's like, I've, he's like, I've got a rope here. Fucking rope me up. Tied it, tied tied the car up, and then give me a lift like to a lay-by. And then he was like, oh, I'll get you. Have you got air or anything? I was like, I don't, mate. No. He's like, I was like, don't worry. Though. I'll try and ring someone to come. And he's like, where do you live? Told him where I lived. And he's like, I'll give you a lift all the way home. Trek, half an hour drive. Man, he told you back. He was this guy. He was this person. He's just an older guy. He, he likes cars and stuff. I think and when you're in likes... that situation, you can't help. You Fucking just do. He's clutch yeah. out, didn't he? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he, had, he, he was into scooters and that. And that's what we started speaking about and stuff like nice. that. And I was, when we got to mine, I was showing him my scooter and things like that. And really nice lad. I've spoken before it's about how I... It's not hard, is it? It's, it's not nice. hard, is it, yeah. I think this is probably on one of the earlier podcasts a few years ago when I flagged down a car to evade you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we spoke We've about that. We've gone there. genius. Tatton Road, yeah. yeah. That, just, is, that is genius. It just made me just, that just made me think of it somehow. Good times. That is that is hilarious. Anything that does anyone's head in? Uh, Fucking hard, but plenty. Well, I was going to say, well, thinking of you, have you got any of the old uh, one, two film reviews on the go here? Uh, we could, we could branch it out to series. Yeah, let's just, yeah. To be honest, we just want to hear this. Take it. Take it. Fucking boss, that. Play it again. <laughs> yeah, we played it again. It's fucking ace, isn't it? Such an abrupt end, didn't it? Oh. So nearly fell over there. <laughs> so uh yeah not not nothing like specific i'd say i've been watching uh what's what i absolutely tanned um the u.s love on spectrum did you yeah it's that's, boss, that's really it? series two that's brilliant i started watching that tanner yeah. is he called tanner tanner yeah mate he's a fucking what a guy yeah he's class isn't he and then I, i've seen so i mean james i fucking buzz off james so i follow on instagram is he now. the one with the shades yeah the guy from boston yeah he's but he's class um yeah i've i've um I've, i'm revisiting Shit's creek never watched it because I, ju- uh. I watched it a few years ago um, and it's, it's, it. it's so good. It's like it's super easy to watch, and it's Eugene Levy, and both of his kids are in it. In um, it, like you just they have to move out, but they move to like somewhere they bought, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, and it, oh, it's, it's but it's just yeah, cozy, cozy. But it, like you cry with laughter and in because it's heartwarming and oh, sad nice. and whatnot. It's, that's that's really good. So I'm watching that at the minute. New series of Curbs out actually, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm not start. I've only had one episode. Sorry, go on. Josh, go on. But uh, yeah, but that's that's kind of it. Oh, I did watch film wise. I've seen it before, but we just put it on because it was something cozy to watch, and it was uh, the Wedding Crashers. Nice. It's, it's just for years. It's just cozy. Anyone seen Poor Things? No. I want to go cinema and watch that. Someone told me it's like yeah. unbelievable. What's uh? That. What's that? Who's who's Emma in it? Stone. Emma Stone. You've you've oh, just you've just smashed. It's very artsy, doesn't it? You've, you've just smashed us. Favorite. You've just smashed the slow horses, haven't you? So good. Slow horses, he's boss in it. Love it. Gary Oldman in that. I know we spoke quite last time, but you <laughs> just <laughs> dropped his ass. So yeah. all the time. We, we spoke quite, but you'd not seen it, had you at the time? No. It's so I good, isn't it? Yet. It's so good. Good. It's one of the best, watch. I think. One it's of the best seasons. It's only the the best. Three seasons, six episodes, and they're only an hour. Easy. In season four, aren't they? Yeah, in the works. At the no. end of the year, I think. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He was asthmatic. He was. He was the best. Right. Um, I've got a, you know what does my fucking head in? Here we go! You know what does my head in? Mess does my head in. You all do my head in. Miles does my head in. Fucking you. You know what does my fucking head in? No. Go forth. People who fucking stay in the middle lane on the motorway. Ooh, ho- yep. lane hoggers. Oh, it's annoying. It does my head in. Now that I know how to drive on the motorway, it does my well, head in. Well, this is, it also leads on to. I can't believe that you can just pass your test and never go on a motorway. There should be a motorway. Yeah, element that's silly. To it. Like it blow, it blows my mind that it's like you can do your test around like thirty miles an hour, maybe forty or fifty on your test, and you don't ever go on a motorway. It's like right, you've passed now, and you can just go on a motorway. Some older folk learn in the army, and the test was literally jump in, drive straight, and that was it. So they didn't like America. Yeah, my like driver's heads might be like uh, only recently I've seen there's like a bit of a craze of people doing videos and it's like comparing um, England to America like Americans that have moved over to Britain and they say like the roads are just like I can't understand how you can just drive in these roads like it's mental which ones what Americans say that about yeah, the yeah, UK so they're, small, they're, they're roads, like because they? they've got huge roads and stuff like that that's quite small and it's a bit more intricate isn't it? Mm. but Honestly, like, it blows my mind. But obviously, no, if no, you're driving if, the motorway... If you don't know... I, I, if you didn't know... I, I used I to do it. I, 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 I used to do it, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't know. 
Because to get in my head, I was like, I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to stay in the middle lane. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I get that. But that, and that's why it's, my thing isn't just people who just do it. It's more the people who know how to use it, but do it on no, purpose. No, it's more. It's more. It's more the thing that does me in maybe is the, the the way that the driving test thing's done. Mm. So the so the lack of information being stupid, isn't dealt. it? Do you know what does my head in? Go on, go on. No. Well, there for them don't know you drive in the left hand lane mm. and use the other two lanes to overtake. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. You don't. You know, it's not a fast lane, and you just stay in that lane. Things when you I, always yeah. stay in the left hand lane and use the other one to overtake. Now, if there's loads of traffic in the other two lanes, you stay in the right hand lane. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I oh, sometimes get it? confused when I join another like off another junction on a motorway, and then there's like four lanes, and I'm like, I'm in the second lane now. Do I stay in this one or do no. I go to the other one? Always left. Yeah. Well, no, I do that. Or sometimes I think that like. The signs, no, because sometimes it splits into two, doesn't it? Yeah, and then the one on the, the left. The signs and the road markings change. Yeah, Read I followed. The lines. I, yeah, just follow the roads. Not your sat nav as well. That does that. Help. That's really that that's helps. a massive one. That yeah. really helps. I, I learned the hard way when I was younger. With that. Yeah, I had a crash. Oh, did you? Yeah. You I did. did. Rolled a car off you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the little Citroen. Yeah. Good yeah. Did you sign it? I saw a lorry go over on the motorway the day on the 62. Fuck Did you? Really? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Well, like, was, was everyone all right? A lorry full of wigs. Was everyone all right? What? No. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. Police have been combing the area for clues. How long have you sat waiting to do that? <laughs> Brain waiting are. for the moment. Tommy, you're going to say something. Then? Yeah, I what does your say, um, What does my head in? It's 2024. Yeah. <coughs> when you've ordered something, whether it be DPD, fucking DHL. USP, whatever the fucking called. UPS. UPS. USP. <laughs> Surely they should provide tracking for where the driver is. Mm. You mean every time? Just yeah, just like surely there's technology to they know do. when they've scanned. No, it's not that. It's not that detailed. Some they of go, them are. They go, oh, I'm going to deliver it between fucking half three and half seven. So you got to wait in for like five hours. Yeah, that's. You sucks. should be able to track it on your phone. But the van should have a, like a fucking thing on it. Yeah. yeah. And you go, oh, my thing's coming today. You go on it and you'd be like, right, your stop's like five stops away. And you can kind of time some day, I think, I think what yeah, somebody, the, um, but surely that's it should what, that's just be blanket. I was say, that annoys me more. Everyone should be able to don't. do that because yeah, been in DPD's space. the best for me. You know they, I mean? they say yeah. like, when you go on it, it says like, your order is like, <clears throat> Amazon 82, do. 82 and your, your package stop is like eight or something. So you know what, I've got ages here. Do you know what I mean? And Amazon do that as well. They yeah. they give you a little map. And yeah. also, they ring you. If you don't answer, they ring you. That's good, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? The problem is with, like, you know, like it's, it's hard, isn't it? Because there's a lot of uh, drivers who get quite quite overworked and stressed. And, like, oh, you, know, yeah. you know, they have to meet, like, they can't go for, like, piss breaks. Have you seen that documentary, actually? Really the interesting. Amazon one. But the Amazon one, yeah. That I've, guy, I've, 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 I've really stopped buying things well, That's why they won't let... I don't mean to track them on, like... Yeah, well, I suppose you know, I'm it, talking it, from it a selfish gives, point of view. Yeah, yeah. In a work way, it's not really right that, to track people. Well, that's, well, yeah, I, I think the big thing whole, about this at the moment with Royal Mail, isn't the whole ecosystem of fast delivery just don't work. Maybe I'm saying they should be able to minimise the windows to, like, a more... No, I think I think that's it. There's definitely a better system. It's not hard I think there's a better... There needs to be a better system for everyone. I think, yeah... Drivers and customers, really. More ethical. It's a bit weird, It's like employing more people, putting more money into it to then let these drivers have less deliveries so it's less stress and blah 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 but I don't really know really interesting the, the, documentary the that though really, really? Well, I mean, it's, I it it's, it's got that guy on it on it's, on, it's on Amazon I think <laughs> <laughs> it's on his channel 4 documentary it, it, it's on YouTube so, do, you, do you remember the, the um, Vice documentary I saw yeah it's, it's, it's the guy, the guy make, with like white hair he makes um, what's it called he made his back garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. is it him? Is it the guy who sneaks into festivals? Yeah, like he's done that. Guy, as well. Yeah, he's he's just boss though. But he, he must be with Channel Four what's now. It but called, what's it called? It's like uncovering Amazon uh, or something like that. It's not like dispatches, but it's that vibe. But he, he, he likes really sneaks good. in. He, you know, he applies for a job, but goes in like films it all and stuff. And then he it's sells weird. he sells the drivers piss on Amazon. That's it. Yeah, because the drivers it makes a big the whole thing is drivers are, are so overworked they're having to piss in bottles because they don't have a piss break. Well, they can't afford oh, to have a piss break because they're yeah. not. Yeah. It, it just said cameras lost thingy, but it's still ticking, so it's just fine. Ticking. So no, yeah, it's, it's still like it's like, yeah, it's, it's 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 really a really good watch though. He, he, he brings brings up some really valuable. Well, is anyone fancy points. for tea? Now we're in the pool. I think since we're in Liverpool and we've never done it as a band in Liverpool, we should do a little not tonight, but this week, we should do a little Hawksies. 
at some Hawks point. Hawksmoor, yes. Yeah. I've, the, I've got the, mm. the card. It's not good for Miles, is it? Oh, I I, I, honestly, you do that and I'll just get a fucking Domino's or something. And, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I fucking love that curry house that we found. We need to Mate, go back to that. How Sultan's good Palace. is that? Sultan's I'd Palace. I go Sultan's Palace one night without well. a shadow of a doubt. We so, yeah, yeah. Sh- Charlotte came I'm down as well. It's it. fucking Sultan. We'll, 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 we'll go one night. Maybe Wednesday because yeah. you're going to City tomorrow, aren't you? But Charlie's at Liverpool on Wednesday, I think, aren't you? Well, it's, well, we're in Liverpool, aren't we? Yeah. So we're could... going. Wait, what? I'm at the game. Wednesday, that, isn't it? Oh, no. Right. Mm. We're not going then, Thursday, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Sultan's Palace. We Sultan's could all Palace. go to the game and get fed there, couldn't we? But I w- I'd, I'd go to the game. Would you? Yeah, I can sell you. I've never been to Anfield. Who are you playing? Luton Town. Where you where you, where where are you sat though? I'm in the Legends Lounge, right? That's what I mean. If I'm in the lounge, it's <laughs> okay. only because I'm not a Liverpool fan. I feel like a bit of a cop. Do you know what I mean? Like if I'm sat in the cop, cock, weirdly enough, I'd, you'd, it's bad, isn't it? I'm not a fan. Like I don't deserve to be sat there in them seats. That, that deserves to go to a proper fan, well, not, come with me, not if me. You want, mate. But yeah, you, if you've got a spare ticket, and man of the people, Joe Donovan. Yeah, it's true though, isn't it? I'd be pissed off if someone was at City like, oh, I just came because my mate invited me, like, and taking a, a good seat where someone would. Yeah, was I think a you'd enjoy fan. it. I've, I've been to City for you many times. Yeah, I think, yeah, of course. Yeah. Time that you came to Liverpool with me, I'd be more than happy to go. Thank so, you. So excite me. I um, got something here which um, I thought would be funny. Go on, um, go. can hemorrhoids or something. <laughs> The Tooth Fairy is something which we all know from being younger. Yeah. Um, however, she didn't do a job one day for me. What, when you were younger? And I have here, I oh, present to you all, class. my teeth and a note. What the fuck? That, um, You've had that on you all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Do them chemo takes. Yeah, yeah. So here, my brother found this actually and gave it to me yesterday. <laughs> It's basically my teeth. In, as a is kid. it in an envelope? In an envelope. Right, and you've wrote on the envelope. And I've wrote on the envelope to the tooth fairy, I have lost two teeth. So can you please take them and possibly, if you want to, leave me some money, Miles? So <laughs> <laughs> it's quite cute, that, isn't it? That's now, I've not actually seen the teeth. Can we the teeth? Um, so, yeah, who wants to open them? Do you I, want me? I, right. I mean, I feel like there'll be halitosis from it. Like, Well, I mean, what, yeah, 20 years? Child holotosis. Holotosis. Well, I mean, it, it won't be. It was right. last night, so it's fine. <laughs> right, okay, should we open my teeth? Yeah, go on. I mean, this is what the... Contents, ASMR. This is what the contents come to, just me and my teeth. Okay. <laughs> this is oh, fucking that's bizarre. cute. That note's cute. That doesn't look like a clean break, that. <laughs> right, so... Let's have a look, Miles. One of the weirdest fucking things. <laughs> I was going to say, like, hand in round This teeth. is fucking yeah. mad. Really odd. Re- re- really odd. That one's really I mean, odd. They, they look quite healthy. They look like popcorn, to be fair. So, yeah. There's your teeth. My teeth. I mean, I thought I'd get more out of this than just that, but. No, wait, I think I'm more in shock. I'm, actually, but yeah, I'm quite perplexed. It's a bit, do you know what? Quite serial killer, this. I'm casually rocking up with some teeth. Bit odd. <laughs> Imagine if you had like a crash today or well, that's, something. Like that's, that. that's what I've just had some fucking teeth in my pocket. Well, at least you've been able to build a track and back to him. It's got some weight in it, that. It fucking has. You need to eat with them. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> what? I don't know what to do with them. Do I just the keep neck. them? I don't know. It's quite cute. In, in, in a weird that, fucked up way. Yeah. See the hand Put it under your pillow and see if he fucking envelope. turns up. Yeah. How long again? do um, teeth last? Me, me and Tommy trying to get oh, in. Yeah. Teeth very late at night. Think about skeletons. Yeah, but how long do they last? Do they just, do they just last if it's, preserved? Yeah, yeah. Ivory, innit? <laughs> it's just... Ivory. Do you know what fucks me up? <laughs> Enamel. Do you know when they've got... Um, teeth being ivory. Bone. Do you know, do you know when... Um, <laughs> it's ivory. Sorry, I was just thinking about elephant's tusk. tusk then. Do you know when um, Do you know when you see... Um, tusk and leather. <laughs> ivory. Do you know when you see a, like a... Stevie one of like an, a, 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 a child skull with the, like, the teeth up here... So the skull is like, and it's you see the teeth embedded in the skull because they're pushing down the baby teeth. Yeah. You've seen that freaks oh, me yeah, out. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, wow. weird that. Really nice handwriting that. It's not changed. It's cursive. It's not changed. Honestly, it's nice cursive. Well, yeah, writing. fucking hell. I won't. There's a not better there's, than mine. Are you too old here at this point to leave? Nah, teeth no, no, no that must have been. That that just, must, is that, that why the teeth? That didn't was after get the Europe tour, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was after me. That was after me and um. Not my ass, fucking shit. <coughs> we I go don't know how old I would have been there. Do you want to do some fan can I, questions? Can I be a pain in the ass and um, go to the toilet? If we wait another... Well, you, you just go to the toilet yeah, whilst we're doing this. Yeah, you go to the toilet. We'll be too old. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on, hurry up. Go on, fuck off. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Here we so go. This is the fan bit. This is the fan bit. So, this is from Orly Burton, and it says, Thanks for bagging me a fella. You got it. Hi. <laughs> Hope so. you're all doing well. Can't wait for the new album in the coming months. Been listening to you since 2016 17, and you're still one of my favourite bands to see live. Oh, thank Love you. Love that you're nice. quite local too. I'm in Presswich, so not too far, and it's great to see you on our local news now and again. I just wanted to personally thank you for the Sefton Park gig as it changed my life a little bit. After drinking copious amounts of vodka lemonade Vimptos, I was a student at the time in Liverpool. So this is referring what to do you the, get to know. Don't get what that means. But this is this is referring to the gig, the because of the trial gig. Yeah, after COVID. COVID. Yeah, after COVID. Good. Oh, I, was, I that decided. Good, that, yeah. I decided to kiss my male bestie, and luckily he didn't push me away. Wow. Turns out we weren't just touch starved for a year of lockdown, and we haven't looked back since. That's Aww. nice. We've been together for two and a half years, and I've seen you several times since. We actually met Miles while leaving the stadium after the killers in Doncaster, and he stank. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> that was he, so. That was he, he said, "He said, get the fuck out of it. How did you get the fuck out of it? No. <laughs> Let's get Miles while leaving the stadium after the killers gig in Doncaster. Oh, we hope to see you live again very soon. And Texia you better be on that fucking set list. <laughs> Rack, it's your best song. I also have a question. If you could only ever listen to one song ever again, what would it be? We've done this before, haven't we? Oh, we did. We've Miles had on repeat, repeat that repeat. question. Mm. It can only be any artist. It can be any artist." But it would be the only piece of music you'd ever hear again. It would replace any other music in films. It'd be the only club in the radio oh. playing it in a shop or a club bar. Other people would be able to perceive music as normal, so it'd just be in your head, basically. Yeah, Lots of love. Please never stop the podcast. It provides me with great entertainment when I get the train to Liverpool on Friday evenings to spend the weekend with my boyfriend, who didn't move back home after uni like I did. Ollie and Nathan. P.S. I think my friend Jess sent a similar email, but read mine instead. Anyway, this is well, the we, last episode of the we've podcast. We've answered that question, really, haven't we, all? <laughs> <Not> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, answered it, we answered it on a podcast a few times ago. Yeah. yeah. I said, what was it? The world's Did, quiet song. Yeah. yeah. Charles picked a Brian Eno tune. Did I, I picked Waiting in Vain. Tune. So. Yeah. Um, just a fan question. Thank you for your kind email and yeah, glad everything's you. going well with everything. It's, it's nice yeah, that. It's, it's, it's took a gamble it's, there and it worked that, out. It's that thing, in it again, of being you met like... Your, uh, you met Sphere at a gig, didn't you? Well, at Club Academy. Yeah. That's, and we played that gig. Club it's a social Academy. place, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? It's nice. It's, it's um, You don't realise, like Tom's mentioned it before, you know, when, like now when you, when you do it in the <laughs> studio and stuff. What's that, sorry? Uh, just saying, like, it's mad, like, you don't think, like, now, you know, in the studio, we've not thought it once today. I know I know we're thinking it now, but... Oh, what, the, how the songs know. are going to impact people's oh, lives? Like, do you know what I mean? Someone could, like, meet the person, like, the person they're going to marry to that song. Yeah, or oh, that could become someone's favourite tune. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Like, music just, is a powerful thing. It's mad, isn't it? You're just in here going, oh, it sounds all right, that bit. Yeah, yeah, it sounds boss. Oh, that's mint, that's it. Do you know what I mean? It's weird how it comes mm. to change. Yeah. Yeah, I, I found one before. I'm trying to look for some... There's a lot of long ones. I'm trying to get, like, a quicker one. To, well, to be fair, I don't think we've got longer now. Do you know what I mean? Um, Anybody got any other questions? Gigs. Let me have a look at some... When like, was the first ones. gig? Ever? Yeah. I mean, it probably was, like, parades and shit, wasn't it? It's a good question. But you know, like, the first gig? Should we have a guess and then someone Google it? Yeah. I've, I've got a good one here, yeah. Go on, do that first. Go on, Chess. The uh, subject line is Chaz's dad's soul patch car boot. Hey. <laughs> so he's put hi lads. Hope you're well. Chaz's sad dad's soul patch car boot. <laughs> <It's class. laughs> That's gonna be the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're well. Love the podcast. Followed you since the early days. You've unlocked a memory from a few years ago for me when you mentioned Chaz's dad on the podcast. It was August 2022, and we were doing Chelford car boot. One Sunday morning, it was around the time of River Around the Bomb, and after buying a bundle from the store in order to get a pre-sale code, there was a surplus CD which I thought I'd sell on the boot sale. <laughs> Soz. <laughs> a man approached me wearing a Blossoms t-shirt and picked the album up, and he said, "I've got to get a pick of this. The album's only been out two minutes, and it's already on the car boot." <laughs> <laughs> was it your dad then? Lo and behold, it was Father Salt. <laughs> That's fucking That's ace. class. And he's attached the picture. Here. That's so your dad a car boot. What car boot is it though? Cause Took I, the I time to have a pick with me and was a true gentleman and a fucking good soul patch. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, has he taken a pitch? Have he attached a picture yeah, of the soul patch? Hey, up. Let me see. That's class. That's, <laughs> That's the thing in it. Dad's a, your dad wears the Blossoms my, merch. Your dad, dad fucking loves it. My dad, dad loves the Blossoms loves merch. Blossoms doesn't he? Too, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's really nice. That. Harry, dad, that's Harry dad, Massey, by the way. My dad, when he goes, if anyone going Glastonbury this year, he does it every year. My dad's outfits for Glastonbury are just a different Blossoms t-shirt for every day. 
He's heartbreak. He's like, I love it. People come up and say how much they love the band. And I love, I I love start talking doing it, to you them. Know? I've walked around with him before and I've always been like, oh, fucking hell, I didn't realise. No, I actually do. I, 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 I walk, you know, you just have like chuck some on in the house. I go out and I've got like half merch on. Jumper. I wear a jumper underneath a jacket. I don't own any. Do you know what? No. Do you know what? I'll, I'll sell you some if you want. Yeah. I like the cut me and I'll bleed when I wear that in the mm. around the guy. Mm. I've, got one here. I've got an email and it says, all right, lads, Joe slash Ed Sheeran. <laughs> nice. For fuck's sake. My eyes were shagged too with uh, astigmatism. Fucking hell. <laughs> had had la- I'm on read now. Had laser eye surgery in October, Ooh. and now I'm sporting 2020 vision. Here in 2024, nice. This is looking. That's positive though for me, that isn't it? Can they do 2024 vision? Recommend, but it's the freakiest thing you'll ever see and smell. Your eyes being burnt is a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, I can get that. Um, you have to wear dark glasses. Oh, dark sunglasses for a couple of days while your eyes wait. Eyes heal. That's what I was going to say then. Why your eyes heal? Oh, day after I had mine done, we ended up fostering a guide dog puppy. So genuinely looked a bit blind, like a blind person. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, he's, the, then she's also said, I can't speak at all, can I, I today? You Do you know what it is? It's when you're reading, it's fine. No, but I can, I, I can read. It's just, I, always, I can't speak anyway. I'm a bit you weird, can't. aren't I? Also, what to ask, how was filming your girlfriend? It has been Excuse fucking me? hilarious. <laughs> I generally thought Miles was a lady. Good effort. My lady. <laughs> a good fun shoot that video. <laughs> uh, it's one of my favourite videos. Did you mean you done. kiss at the end? Yeah. Yeah, was, that, that was nice. It was um, Morecambe, and it was an early start from what I remember getting the prosthetics on. We stayed in ah. quite a nice place, really nice place, actually. I remember it was a good bath. I can't remember that. We, I yeah, you always get baths, you know. Baths. Yeah, yeah. It's freaked you know, me yeah, out. Yeah. You, I, this is, that I find it weird, you bathing hotel. Boss day, though. I feel like you can't Enjoyed bath in a hotel. It. I think it's weird. Going back to the music video, prosthetics, early starts, a lot of roll-ups, I remember, at the time. Mark, were you, you tabbing smoking, I was tabbing, of course I was. Yeah, fucking dead, <laughs> right. <laughs> tabbing of course I've I was. been tabbing more than you, haven't you? know what I mean? We're just arsing. <laughs> Ten years of yeah, tabs. It was a good, good time at music video. Morecambe, film, graveyards, rain. May 2019. Pissing down Someone's at the end, house. Yeah. Beans on toast. Oh yeah, I was eating oh, beans, on it? Toast. beans on toast. Beans on toast. That was nice. Great I, fun. Me on really good. Ma, I think it's yeah. what it's called. I was saying, <laughs> favourite music. Do you remember when we were in the taxi the other day and you were like, it's weird how attached you get to dogs? For people who don't have dogs and you think, oh, I want like a dog. And, like you were like, you didn't like dogs at all. Couldn't relate now, you know, yeah. And then you now get I'm fully one. converted under your skin. And you were, like, you were like, I'll be fucking devastated when George dies. I will. Um, the, the subject is Miles and Josh, thank yous. Hi. Love, in capitals, the podcast, Love Heart. Fridays are my non-working day, so it's a proper treat and a great way to start my Fridays. You lot always make me lol. And I'm from Macclesfield, so very relatable. Me and my husband, Russ, are coming to see you at Withenshaw Park. Thank you. Can't (laughs) wait as it'll be our first time seeing you live. I don't know if this is a thing, but Miles and Josh do funny little thank yous. Thank you. Throughout the pub, throughout anything else, it's not just us. (laughs) If you listen, it's not... It's not <laughs> I love the fact that one's got that. Yeah. Um, and it always makes me smile. And now I find myself doing a Josh and Miles, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. See you in August. Should we let's reveal the origin of that? Yeah, let's... let's show oh, 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 should we save it no, for when Tommy's reveal on? It, reveal I don't it. even know what the origin reveal is. Reveal it now, it's funny. It. What, what, what is it? It's when we're Tell in, the story. It's when we're, we're touring. We were touring Europe in... Was it... 18? 2022. Oh, was it that one? Yeah, we was, Art Deco was supporting us. Yep. No, nah, it was before that. No, no, his real name is not known to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Josh, take, pick it up from there. Right, so... Take so it away, Josh. Obviously, he's, he's, he's basically an invisible oh, member of the podcast <laughs> now. Uh, but obviously, Tommy Harrison... He came could, on tour, didn't he? He came on tour with us for the second time around Europe in 22. And... Um, me, me, Chaz, and Tommy spent a lot, of, like a lot of our downtime together. Yeah, uh, just you know, exploring, going for coffee, and what have you. And the dates that we did in Germany, Chaz would often, as he's a polite traveller, he would he would ask the German folks if could do, do, do the example. He would say, you know, in the the times we're living now, a lot of people do speak English, but I still like to ask. Yeah, Sprechen the English, and to which they would always always reply, I'll do it. "Of course, sir." Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but your, but your, this your, is where it gets harsh. Tommy Harrison picked up on the fact that I say thank you for speaking English. Yeah. And he, the way I say thank you. He just found it hilarious. Thank you. It was always thank you. <laughs> and then 
<laughs> now it's just it's just gotten out of hand. It's, got so it, it's become ridiculous now. Yeah. So it's become like yeah, miles well, is no, a no, ridiculous. You, you, the, the opposite. It, it was like thank you, and it was thank you. <laughs> and then it I went start, thank you, you sir. The high one. I started no, the, no, no, now. No, 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 rewind a bit. So, no. so then my, you took it to thank you, sir. No, and then and then I go thank you. So thanking of you. Now it's thanking of you, Messiah. <laughs> It's thank you, Messiah. It thank goes, you. but now I find myself saying it in like I do it everywhere. I do. Yeah, it I do. If, yeah, if, if, if someone's got something for pass, yeah, passes you a thank cup. You. And, thank you. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's got. Yeah, it's one of them. And that'll probably be with us. We're fucking forever, weirdos. Now. Yeah, yeah but no, but it, these things pass on. That, that woman's clocked it. Thank now you. She's, she's in her yeah. house going. Thank you. Yeah, like, here's your cup of tea. Is it slang? Would you call it slang? You can just. Is it colloquial? Colloquialism, Colloquialism yeah, within yeah. us. Thank it's you. It's just an in-joke, isn't it, basically? And, and so it could... There's different ways of saying it, isn't there? Like you said then. Thank you. So you've thanking got thanking of you, Sire. you've got thanking of you, Sire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bear in mind as well, we text this as well. It's quite yeah, you, innit? Yeah. And we you voice note this to each other. Yeah. Thank you. Like if, thank if you. someone... Thank say Tom... You know what? It's polite, innit? Like say, if, say if Tom's like, I've booked a table for, ti- for tonight for a sweet... Thank but you. But on text, it'll be like that, and then Miles will be, thanking of you, Messiah. Oh, I really wanted to play your... What's Voice Messiah this week? What is Messiah? Well, Sire, and you're saying me as in my, my oh, Sire. Okay. I really wanted you to... I, did, I, I, I didn't save it, though. Ah, fuck Messiah. that. I'm I really wanted to play your voice. I think no, Messiah is like, Paulie. Oh, no, voice Messiah spelt like... Yeah, there's one more email. No right, right, last one. one now, because I want to eat. Right, this says... From Tom. And also, I just want to say, do you know what's nice? That we bring people an hour of joy. You know, every week. I was thinking when you said that. No, but I, I listen you know to podcasts. Pro- do you want you to enjoy yourself and relax? It's nice that we can be that because it's annoying when you want to relax and you've got nothing to relax to. And there's us. It's fine. <laughs> I'm passionate, isn't it? Go on. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> do. Right, Take Josh look alike. Chelsea Jacquees. Okay. It's not Jacquees, it's Jacks. But <laughs> Jacquees. <laughs> no, Jacquees. Yeah, 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 yeah. On Love Island, like two years ago, there was a guy called Jacks or whatever his Jack. name was. It was a TikTok one that yeah. H did, yeah. And H was it. calling him Jacquees. It really <laughs> made me laugh. Like, fucking Jacquees is my man. That's like that. you on Pointless. Cock of Vin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it Van? Yeah, Cock of Van, yeah. Cock of Van. Stop, put. Class. So this is a lookalike of me. It says Josh lookalike. Oh, dear. Chelsea Jacquees. <laughs> Josh looks like a younger, healthier it. version Ooh. of Plank from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Lots of love, Chelsea. No. Okay, pull up the image. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do a little stroke, That's fucking little rough, that, isn't it? Have you seen Lock, Stock? No, but I mean, I, watch I, this I, I saw the email. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, that's all right. Mate. That's fine. The Dude, photos you were sending. Do you what? You know, from the you know what? The fucking, I can see it. Fair, when I had the beard. She says, she says healthier. She says young and healthier. Well, I can yeah. see that. Maybe well, that's how you'll go. <laughs> Speak on the mic. What do you think? Right, hit it, Miles. Yeah, cheers, right. everyone. Um, see you in a bit. We should really have spoke more about the studio, but we didn't. No, well, that, 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 that's fucking all stuff that we, when it comes you know, Unless we walk around with a fucking camera going, this is a fucking... What if we just wait the tune from now on? So, uh, Miles, yeah. go on. What, what's the email it's, to, it's, it's, to email it's, in? It's called blossomspubcast at gmail.com. Thank you. See, I was going to say, I was just going to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. I, I love bringing people joy. Fuck off. <laughs> thank you. It's a Thanks for listening. Podcast. Thank you, thank you, it's thank you. It's a Blossoms podcast. It's a Blossoms podcast. It's a Blossoms podcast. Live from Blossoms HQ.